Hi there. I'm just carrying on with my uh, work on my papers that I have because even though I bought some new new paper, I still have some of my old paper that I'd like to prepare for work on journals or cards or boxes or whatever I'm doing. So I thought while I'm doing this, I would show you what I'm doing. And this is, as usual, my Coca-Cola boxes. You can see this has the part in it that comes off. I'm not worried about that. I didn't do all of them, but I did a lot of them. So, I think these will make extremely good borders into a journal. I love the thickness of this cardboard. It is an awesome, awesome thickness. So, they're all about one inch thick. Some of them are a little bit less. See, this one's a little bit less because it's the end. So let's just take a look at this here. I have two of these going because it's not possible to do it with uh, both of them. Or with just one because the glue tends to get stuck. So, I have cut out my paper as well as the um, strips and they can be trimmed down to whatever size you want after a while. As I work on using them up. There's a few things that I thought would be cool about this is that I could use them you know how when you're working on a project and you're kind of not sure what paper you want to use? Well, I think this will help that. So I'm putting down the, the brown side first. It's getting that at the edge there. This one's a little bit wider than most of them that I'm doing. It's going to take this one away because that one has glue on it now and I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to patch that on there. And this is what I wind up with, these beautiful strips which I think are so awesome another color. See, these are the papers that, I'd, that I've already had. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's going to have to stay there. I'll have to dip my, pa my uh, paper in that. Isn't that the way it works? Never I'm trying to do a video. I have my bloopers. Alright, let's do it on this one. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. But you can definitely see why I need to buy the largest um, Mod Podge that I can get. And I also had so many of my cardboards that I really needed to use them up to reduce my pile that I have <laughs> next to me. Let's put this one on. Remember, I'm just putting that side on to reduce my cutting off parts. I'm doing it at this tip. And I have another one I can use. <coughs> the glue just takes a minute or so to dry, and then it's not going to get on the front of the paper, which is why I keep changing it. And I 
to get these marvelous strips that have a nice, uh, nice thickness to them. And for the areas that don't stick, I have a brush. And I can just get under there. And get that to stick down. And I have another nice strip. <coughs> So I think you've probably seen these papers in a variety of different ways that I've already used them. So I just decided that I would do this with them as another way. Because I have my circles, I have some stars, I have some hearts, and now I wanted to have some strips as well. Putting these down. Just need to get it at the tip. Pretty easy, pretty fast, pretty cool. Have another strip. How about this tree one will be super awesome. I can't, I don't think I have enough of these strips to do every piece of paper that I have. But wouldn't that be a cool way to have kind of like paint strip colors so you could audition your papers for what you're working on. I think that would be so awesome. to try to get my paints to the edge here. I'm not quite getting it to the edge. Again, my fingers are gonna be filled with paint, with glue again. There we go, I have a tree one. There's a leaf one. Again, these are all pages that I've already used in a couple of journals. And you still have some because you know how you get a couple in each one. Each set. <coughs> I'm going to try to make sure I get it on the edge this time so I don't have to do it again. There we go. I'm going to get it a little bit in the middle so I can fold it up. I just love the thickness of this cardboard. That's why I use it so much. that make the leaves look cool. Can you see how cool and smooth that looks? See what other one I have right I have this one. Some of them were already cut this way but otherwise I used my paper cutter and I cut them just like a quarter of well these are an inch so I cut them like an inch and a half wide and as long as the paper was. And the journals that I make, they're about eight inches. 
so most of these are going to be able to fit across the length of the journal. Okay, and the reason I'm not using the red on that side, just to make absolutely sure that none of the paper or the design of the cardboard is going to show on the other side. I was thinking of, um, this one is also kind of a hard one to, to work with, so put that one on. I was also thinking that this one could have used a much thicker one, actually. Oh, I lost my train of thought. Get a little bit of a thicker one on there. These are the way I kind of cut them <coughs> on the pages. I think it'll be what I'm trying to learn how to do, which is what I'm not doing um, just yet, is I'm not adding a lot of um, layers to my pages. And part of it, it too is I thought it would be cool to have something like this so layering uh, not just designs but heightening the thickness on the pages plus it was just time for me to use up some of my cardboard which gets piled up after a while. And as you know, I keep saying I have very limited space. So I've got to be careful. So this, before this gets too gluey, I've got other sheets that I can use. So I don't get glue on the front side, or Mod Podge on the front side. I don't know how many of these I've done, but again, it's so relaxing. Whoops. So this is the sunflower paper. So it can be cut down at any, it's kind of like my uh, scrap papers, it can be cut down to any um, length that we need or that fits with the design. There's that one, can we leave that up that way. How about the water one? See how the water one looks? I just get a kick out of using the papers in different ways what I consider my preparation stages. Then I can just grab them and use them when I'm 
in the middle of the project. So there's the water one. That looks so cool, doesn't it? Okay, so... Oh, I had another one here. This one too would be neat to do. All old papers that I've been unable to use up on the projects that I've had. And I find it easier to use up the papers when I do a, a little bit of prep work with them. Just like my scrap pages. There we go. So you can just use your imagination, but how would you use a fairly nice thickness? of a paper on a project. Because I think it just makes the paper look a little bit different than it did before. Well, let's finish this one. Kind of got wrecked a little bit. But remember I can trim it down to the area that does work. Using up quite a bit of my Mod Podge. It's so fun, so relaxing. I just use the paper cutter to cut the strips and just use my X-Acto knife to cut the strips of the cardboard. Have another thick one here. Oh wow, even though it had all that glue on it, it still looks fine. Okay, so I have a few more to do. <clears throat> As you can see, I have a few more um, strips to fill. I have a few more papers left. There's another water. I have some more paper actually in my van that I could probably take out and do the same thing. So let's take a look at what we got. That one didn't get cut yet. And I, I didn't cut this one because see how the paper is blurry? The, the page is blurry there. So I might be able to do shorter ones because I do have to trim them down now that I've got the paper on it and I'll show you what I mean. So these will all get colored. Oops, there's a colored one in there. These are all get... So these are the ones that I have now. You can see this part here is going to have to get trimmed down. But these are ready to go in the journal. It's a little bit of glue that needs to get put on that one.
That one is a little bit blurry too, but I just like the color so much that I had to add it. This one needs a little bit more too. No problem. I'll just put that on the cardboard. While it dries. And I'll show you the other ones that I did. So now I have all these. I used the new paper that I got from Walmart, which is kind of different um, papers. Now these can go into the journals. Hope you like it. Oops, I'm going to cover that up. <laughs>